All right, so we're 10 days out, 10 days to Dairy Field. And looking at our notes from last year, this is the exact same time frame that we did this exact same workout on this, this exact same trail. So today, because of the soccer game, we got to do Black Bear, um, which is mirrors Dairy Field perfectly. So you are going to do four to five 1200s with three minutes rest. And we're going the same, both groups are going the same direction, but obviously we'll be separating out. So um, this is it. This is the last really hard, hard buster workout between now and the stadium. So if your heads aren't right, use the warm up to get them right, to prepare yourself to get, to get really ready to fly. Um, you do want you focused on letting yourselves go down the hill, being balanced and all that kind of good stuff that we've been talking about all season and then recovering in between. We do have a few 30 second pickups. We obviously would use, usually use the track. Um, we'll talk about that, see how the workout goes. Um, if we do it, obviously we're gonna try to find a flat stretch somewhere, okay? And I think that's the key thing, is that when you wear a flat course like Nashua, you have to attack sections. When we're on a course like Manchester, it's about you know being able to handle the hills and be able to handle the terrain. So that's what today's workout is going to mimic that. We got some great hills out back. We'll be able to work through that, and we're going to. The key thing of what we saw, you know, particularly on the girls' side, the boys were tempoing, but with some great teamwork when we were running at a Freestyle Farm from South Eden. Is use your teammates, work off each other's shoulder, and just kind of try to hit your splits the right way. And so that's what we'll give you prescribed numbers, and we'll give it our best shot. Remember, this workout is, is the one that really does translate to 5,000 meters on a cross-country course. So exactly what Coach Casey just said. Keep working together. Keep working together and practicing that today. It's huge. It's huge. This is it. This is the one. This is going to be the, the last hard, hard workout. Well, where do we get those numbers guys. from? Where do we get the numbers from? Pace. Your races, your and your goal pace. Well, Remember, this there, is this is based on goal pace, and this is also keep that in mind too. Actually, you know, we we were hoping we would have the track for one and the track for the last one, but we're not. Okay, so some of these the paces are based upon goal pace on a flat course, and obviously we're not doing that. So don't get down on yourselves if you're not quite hitting your time. Listen to your coaches. But don't get too excited if on the downhill portion we do it faster. This loop that we're doing is a pretty honest loop, though. There's an up and there's a down. We've been doing so, this for a while. Yeah, so this would be a pretty honest number, which would be slightly difficult to reach your goal pace. So if you are, you're having a heck of a workout. All right, any questions? What do we do now? Warm up for 15 drills and strides, and then we'll, we'll, we'll catch you here, and then we'll meet you out there. And again, we're going to go, try to go in the same direction, but we're going to be separate, obviously. Tess, what's the purpose of warming up? warm up. Alright, let's go do it. Great job, senior. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. You can always say there was a loopy side. Dog, you're looking at me funny. <laughs> oh, like, the, 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 yeah, like the actual. Um, poll. Um, who is who's gonna win this workout, me or Lucas? Or Lucas, how many Lucas how what do you think? I'm here to coach. How many reps so shall I drop him? My money's on Lucas. You know, he's got the girth. He's yeah. got the, he's That's got the right. experience. He's got everything he needs to get yeah. through this workout. We'll see, I guess. See, notice how Davio's filming today. Cause he, I know. Cause he That's. Okay, Coach Fisher, what's going on? Uh, not much. Just trying to figure out where the start is. There's Gary, know where it is, right there. Right there. Where it says workout. Ready? This this was done by a senior workout. Luke Kazik, senior project right here. Where's Help us mark up our cool trail workout. Kazik. Bam. Bam. All right, here's the here's the rivalry right here. They're trying not to look at each other. <laughs> Lucas is winning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Game face. Aren't you starting like ahead? No, no, of course not. <laughs> There's Lucas getting his, getting his head start. No, he's he's just warming up. He'll be back. This is not the fastest workout of your life. This is. This is under control at prescribed 5K race pace goal. So it's not gonna kill you. So, but, so on a 94 second pace, 
that's where I want to see the, you guys working together with Tess, you right in the middle of it, just kind of separate them so they don't fight. Right? And so then you, you're going to be at, up front at 91, and Addie's going to be, where is Addie? Right here. Okay. I, I, oh. yeah. So you, you got to, is Lucas going to be waiting for you up there? Yeah. That's the plan? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're at 86, Addie. Mm -hmm. Addie's cheating. Always. Yeah, I always do that because I can never see the line. All right, set, go. Oh. Okay, so what we just did is a series of five different 1200s. I had the girls today. We swap off every week on who runs what workout. And um, what we did is we put Lucas Fisher, former athlete, now helping us coach out uh, with Addison because she's running historic time. The, the workout went incredibly well. The air today is a little bit thick, so we started getting a little bit of wheezing and things like that. Addie, Addie was able to hit uh, 406 pretty much on the average, um, 410 on her last one, so pretty good. So then it was a group. Our team, what the way we've always done things is it's about teamwork. You know, we had Tess, Sam, um, Sam LeMay is having an incredible second half of the season and she's been showing that the last couple of races and now she's showing it in workouts as well. Mallory uh, just is a soldier on workouts. She's one of those kids that actually races better than she works out, but she kind of, she got, she soldiered through the workout. Tess Millette, um, she's kind of in the back of that pack and we always can trust her to run very consistent splits, super tough does really well in the second half of workouts. We know that she's going to make it all the way through. One of the things that we do is we modify for our newer athletes. Um, so Bella LeMay, who's Sam's younger sister, Bella started to feel it a little bit in, 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 towards the end. So we did four rather than five. And so that's the modification we would always do for anybody, but certainly uh, freshmen. What we did is we did the first 400 and the second 400. So she was able to still maintain part of the workout, be part of the team, and finish with her team and still get the body work in. So all in all, like, you know, incredible numbers. We use this section of the course because we feel like it mimics dairy field pretty well. Uh, you know, we've got some ups, we've got some downs, we've got lots of hills and things like that. So, you know, that's why we use this section of the course. Next week we won't be right, uh, working out right here because that following week would be um, in Nashua, which is so much flat. It's like Coach Kajic said, uh, basically, uh, this is our bread and butter workout. So uh, this week was my turn to be with the guys and Brent's turn to be with the girls, but the workouts are essentially the same. We've been doing essentially the same workouts for the past you know, 20 years. And we, we, we usually have a pretty good governor on the kids, um, but we're 10 days out. We didn't do, we don't have a race this week. We never, we haven't had a race the week before divisions in a while. So it's all about trying to really the last hard preparation for divisions and mini champions too. Um, talk about intensity, uh, Luke and Aiden, the key with them, is they've been cousin, their cousins their whole lives and they've been competitive their whole lives in a very loving and friendly way. The key is to get them to not race. Um, they're, they're competitive playing basketball, they're competitive playing anything, so it's trying to get them to race co run cooperatively. Uh, they're set 338, 340, 336 was that? 341, 335 is probably hands down the best set we ever had. Then you look at the other guys and honestly Wyatt and Logan and Carter, they're the other seniors and they've been together since middle school with Carter coming in freshman year um, and their times rival the best ever. Um, Wyatt, his set was 350, 47, 49, 49, 45. Uh, Logan was a similar 51, 40, um, 51, 56, 56, 54, 51. And Logan's kind of a quiet warrior, you know, he um, he's definitely doesn't, when you think of the word warrior, you don't think of a Logan, but um, if you watch how he's developed over the years, whenever we needed a seventh or a sixth guy to step up in the five position, he's done so without blinking. And, and Carter, you know, everybody loves Carter. So it was good. The lot, he had a great tempo on Monday, back to the 1200s today. He's, he's starting to get into a right, nice rhythm. Lars Hogney probably is the best improved, most improved, maybe not just on our team, but in the state. So Hogney went 49, 47, 49, 50, 49. And then um, Jamie Leno, our freshman. So uh, we never have him really complete a workout. And maybe some coaches might think that what kind of confidence are you building? Well, we try to build the confidence in the races. Um, workouts, we're very careful with freshmen. Um, Tyler just ran yesterday, so you, you saw Tyler Kazik out there. Um, he looked phenomenal yesterday on a flat course. He said his legs felt great, so we let him do a couple, two to three, um, because you know his racing season is essentially over, so it's all about just kind of getting more experience. So he did three 800s, so just kind of having some fun out there. So that's about it. There's your workout, workout Wednesday.
What are you, Mo Farah? That's tremendous. Okay. Set, go. You drop that down at the other spot. Yeah. When you're ready, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. We're gone. We're out. Pop the hands. Right up. Press. Cheat on that one. I cheated on that one. Sometimes when you're over 50, you do what you gotta do. Of course, my wife's still going, so that's not good. You gotta crest right here, crest this hill. Crest it. Set, go. Working together. Working together. Carter, great job. Carter, that was not on camera at all. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. Please tell me you got that. <laughs> so here's the thing. This first one, we hit it in 80 seconds last time. we got to try to match that. It's all downhill right now in the 80 seconds. And then this is all about the second half, right? And what I'm going to do, because I'm coaching, is probably cut through the trail at that point, and then I'll meet you right That's back cheating. in here. That's what's called coaching. Yes. 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 It's coaching. Yes. Look it up. Coaching. I'll do it. Only special. Go. Coaching. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Let's get out. Let's get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three forty nine, three fifty. Best workout, best workout ever. Finish three fifty nine, four flat, four oh one, four oh two. Crossing your body, be careful. <laughs> Go through. Go through hard. Come on. All the way through. Come on, Mally. Get up here. Come on, finish now. Finish now. Drive him. Good work, good work. Alex, girl, Bella. Good work. That's how you get through a workout, kiddo. Come on, Tess. Arm straight back. Come on, Tess. Last one of these as a senior. Yes, quicker, 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 quicker. Drive the hands. Drive them, drive them, drive them. Yeah. Five oh six. Come on, come on. This this workout is difficult on the outer loop. A lot more, a lot harder than on the track. Pretty hilly. But it was still about the same time, so we're in a lot better shape than we were this time last time doing the workout, which was a couple weeks ago. Right, you guys, are 15, get, get water in you, and then 15. You can even jog to 20 if you want. We're not trying to lay miles on, but you're gonna be a little sore. <laughs> yeah. Come on. If he's making me do it, you're going to hurt you. Yeah, do Merle. I won't hurt you. It'll make you better. Come on. Oh. Coaching. Coaching. So, after workout, nutrition is very important. Personally, I like both bars. Yes, it is. No. I was laughing so hard. No, I knew Kyrie Irving he was on the Celtics at one point. So, you thought he was currently yeah, on the Celtics. Yeah, but sadly, I did think he was still on the Celtics.
Okay, Are well, you not, putting this in the Workout around. Wednesday video? Yep. <laughs> There's gonna be so much random Hi stuff. Hi guys, my name is Logan Mihalik, and I'm an aspiring movie body, director. Hey, <laughs> this is... I'm an aspiring movie director. 30 to 40 years, I will be the next Stanley Kubrick. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. This shirt is sponsored by Hudson um, Cox. Yeah, I bring Bella a t-shirt every day, because she always forgets one. Yeah. That's hard. Right. Workout Wednesday, baby. He's literally filming. I think you should run? stop. <laughs> I know. All right, stop filming. <laughs> <laughs>